Manners! Oh, we'll have to turn that off. Turn off the heating. Um. <clears throat> I know it's on. <laughs> it is cold. Any road. So this is the Triumph Trophy. Oh, God. No. So it's two weeks now. We haven't been on the Harley for ages. When was the last time we went on the Harley? Like, really, when was the last time? It was a long time ago now. Divi Experiments. Scramble the Guard. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Go away. Blah, 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 Oh, handlebars. And that was a month ago. Holy cow. I just want to see the date of it. Um, Just one month ago. It's... No, 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 I don't want to watch it. Fucking hell. 25th of October. It's the 2nd of December. That's a long time ago. That's a long time ago. Wow. Um, yeah, so this is the Triumph Trophy fork oil change. What, what's going on here? Who wrote this? <laughs> Filthiest oil I've ever seen. You don't have to put quotation marks unless you are quoting somebody else. Whatever. Could this be the filthiest four coil you've ever seen? Space, question mark, question mark. Uh, well, let's see. But you got to remember, he maintains his bikes regularly. Oh, I the scene. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I want to survey the scene. So what have we got going on? What have we got going on? Nothing. <laughs> oh, come on in, look for that. <laughs> I'm just having a laugh. Why not? If you don't, you just whatever. Go back now. Today, I want to change the full coil in the big triumph trophy. It's one of those why, jobs. Why that... is it the big triumph trophy? It's not really big. I don't understand. You've got a, a gold wing. That's big. Gets neglected quite often because it's a time service thing. It's every two years you change your fork oil, not on mileage. Now this bike was well, new to sure, me. Do they? I'm, no, no. I'm sure they do say mileage, like whichever comes first. Let, let's check. Let's check. I, that, I don't actually know. I might be just making it up. Um, but that does matter. Um, delete that. Where is? I can't even remember. I just want a bike manual. A bike manual? Any bike manual? I can't remember where anything goes these days. Um, who even knows? It's my computer and I don't even know. <laughs> um, oh, bike manuals. There we go. So, let's just pick a newish one. There we go. That'll do. Uh, period checks and adjustments. Oh dear, that was easy, mate. We've got a table. Usually we get a table. Specs. Oh, it's the one that I pick. Why 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 have we gone Dicky? Why is it the one that I pick that doesn't have the table? Oh here we are. Yeah, wait, there we are. So, smart plugs, crankcase ventilation, fuel lines, engine oil, clutch. Right, here we are, right, so it's going to have to be here, isn't it? Control cable, shock absorbers, brakes, chains, bearings, side stand pivot, chassis fasteners, brake hoses, wheels, tyres. Oh, literally, there just isn't. Are you kidding me? No, there is, there is, there is. I've missed it, obviously. Swing arm pivot bearings, rear suspension, front forks. Uh, check operation oil leak, replace if necessary. Is that what it says? But here it does say 8,000 miles or 12 months. Um, it says they're repack, which I imagine... 
parts bearing, sorry. So it doesn't say it doesn't say four coil replacement. It just says check operation and oil leakage, replace if necessary. Front forks. That was a bad example. Don't ever buy a Yamaha. <laughs> <laughs> on the CBR thousand, r r r r r r r r r r r maintenance. There we go. Lubrication system maintenance. So they usually have the same kinds of things. Here we go. So non-emission related items. That's weird. Um, oh my god! What? Oh no, sorry, it does it has everything here, sorry. I was I just it says non emissions related. Yeah, yeah. So where is I can't see for looking. Drive chain brakes, headlight clutch size and suspension. Number one. Should be serviced by an authorised dealer fuck off. So they're saying it's just got a line that says Times thousand miles, so eight thousand miles. So this says this is that per thousand miles or kilometers, whichever comes first. It says whichever comes first. Um, so it, you know, and then it says every God, God knows how many a thousand miles, one th one month ever. So does this say suspension? And that's four thirty five. Four. Oh, it is there. Four, three, five, it says. Four, three, f oh. Oh, that's here. <laughs> Reference page. Oh, 435. Sorry, sorry, I'm just having a bit of a, a relapse. <laughs> 35, not three, but th three, five. Suspension, there we are. Right, so it says... Front suspension, check the adjustment forks operation, replace damaged components cannot be full fork service, 1422, oh my god. Uh, 14, 12, 14, four, oh, well dear, that jumped. 14, 22, 23, 22, removal. Oh, it doesn't say... Just says about how to remove it. Does it say about replacing the four coil? Anyone? Bushings, service limit, steering and suspension, putting it all back together. Does that have times? No, it doesn't have times. But I think we've proven our point. Fork level. It's weird, a lot of suspension manuals don't say. But yeah, uh, suspension manuals. A lot of manuals don't say. It. What about the Z900? Oh, don't do that. Uh, period mids. Charts. This is see Kawasaki's. Why wouldn't you want a Kawasaki bike cycle cruiser? <laughs> uh, again, this just says readings on the odometer are one six, and that's years. So, one year every six years, every t it can't be 12 years, can it? It says year. Oh, is that ye year? Oh, inspect once every eight, once every five years. Or replace every five years. Every three years. Uh, tire pressure, check every once every year. <laughs> Suspension. Suspension system. Look at it every year. And then every, whatever that is, 12,000 miles. Inspect every 12,000 miles. Great. So, yeah. So, it is in miles. And what is it? So, you're talking shit again. Back in the summer, I've known all the other fluids, but not the forks. So, the full coil in there could be six months old, or it could be six well, how, years old. How don't you know? Have we missed something? Probably. Have we missed something? All right, good morning, welcome back. Now today I want to change the full coil in the Big Triumph Trophy. It's one of those jobs that gets neglected quite often because it's a time service thing. It's every two years you change your well, full depends. coil. I'd also love, someone check, if you've got that Triumph Trophy model, please send me the link to see if it says it's two years and not anything to do with miles. I just want to see it, that's all. Not on mileage. Now this bike was new to me back in the summer. Right. 
I've known all the other fluids, but not the false. So the full coil in there could be six months old, or it could be six years old, could be black as you're at, I've no idea. So we'll suck the old oil out, we'll put some new stuff in, I'll check the springs for service length while they're out, and then we'll put it all back together, and then I'll do a sag test as well, to see how the old girl's performing after 28 years. Right, as this is just an oil change... Oh, I'm who would have thought? Where's the product placement, promotional product thing? I'm going to use a vacuum fluid extractor to take the old oil out. It's got a hard tube which reaches all the way down to the bottom Look of the fork leg. That is. Who has forks like that? So it sucks practically all of the sludge out. No, yes, it of... doesn't. It's stuck to the spring, it sticks to the walls. You want it cleaned out. If this, it, I'm only going on this. If this is the filthiest oil that we've ever seen, you'd want to clean that out. Otherwise, a... let's just imagine you've got oil in there that's two years old, two or three years old, just there. You empty out and you go, nah, it's a bit mucky. It's a bit she. And then you clean it out. Right. But if this is 28 years old, it is the shittiest stuff. It's like fucking black porridge, right? It's the worst thing you've ever seen. The 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 five percent residue that's in there. You don't want to put brand new oil in there with that shite. Because that shite is so bad that it's tainted the oil where it's like three year old oil or five year old oil. You're like, what would be the point? So, if this is the filthiest oil, I want him to say, my God, this is the filthiest oil. This is, could be 28 years old. This is shit. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take the forks off, completely strip them and clean them, right? Springs in the tubes, you, the lot. Residue left behind, and if you want to get rid of absolutely everything, then strip your forks down and wash everything and then put them back together. That's the other way to do it. Far more thorough. But for just an oil change, this is perfectly adequate. This added. isn't just an oil change if this is the filthiest. He best changed his mind. I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt because he hasn't got to that bit yet. And if you take your bike into the dealer to have a full coil change, this is all they'll do unless there's a drain screw at the bottom, which on this bike, there isn't. Are you sure? I'm calling it again. Oops, just close that because I keep on opening it like a retard. So it's a triumph trophy. Right, I think it's 12. I think it's 1200. I don't, I don't even know. I, I haven't even paid attention. I haven't even paid attention. It's a 900, sorry. Yeah, I'm not even paying attention. He calls it the big one, so I keep on thinking it's going to be. <laughs> the fact is that the trophy, not like that, you fool. Um. There's a bigger one and a small one, so this would be the small Triumph Trophy, surely. I'm looking for a micro... You're telling me there's not a bolt at the bottom of there? I don't believe you. Uh, I literally don't believe you. I go to images, I want to see a micro... Um, there we go, let's have a look. Of course there's a bolt in the fucking bottom of it, you bell end. Oh, what a lot of rubbish. Because otherwise, how do you attach your damper rod to... Yeah, you see, look, there's a cap at the bottom. So you can see there's them two bolt holes that are for the, the clamp to grab your axle, right? And there's a fucking hole in the bottom. How do you... This rod here, number 11, at the bottom of that, there's a thread. And that will go into the bottom of there, usually. Um, but it looks like it does here as well. Uh, there's this little spring and your rod and the little seal and your other spring and all that shit and your spacer your uh not abs not pvc not everything you think it is but it's not and um yeah there's that bolt there look number 18 the fuck are you talking about is this guy even got i was hoping this guy would have a picture of it no what's your i could read it but i can't read unfortunately <laughs> Just can't read. Um, I'm just quickly scanning down to see if we can see a picture of someone. You know, it just shows you a picture. Oh, the manual. Imagine if we looked in the manual. Imagine you looked in the manual and it showed you. Oh, that's that's a, 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 a aftermarket replacement. Let's have a look at that one. Right, the gators, great. There's a bolt there on that one. I don't know what this is actually. What's this? This is a Bonneville. It's not the same thing. Um, but yeah, there's a screw in the bottom there. There's loads of them. Right, the the mainly like that. The main, main standard orientation, normal forks as you'd call them, like this. Right, with the body at the bottom. 
and the stanchion attached to the top. Uh, standard arrangement forks like this have a thing. But you see, he's not going to do that because you have to take the entire wheel off. So, right, we, we, we've been doing this for how long now? We've been doing this for, we're a minute in and he's bullshitting. Well, I think he's bullshitting on one account about the change in oil. Um, and number two is he said there's no there's no screws in the bottom of this, which there is. Uh, bolts in the bottom of this. Threads, screws, whatever you want to call them. Cap heads, uh, which there is. There'll be a copper washer to seal it as well. And he's also given bad advice where he's just like, um, something that's this old, you know, but he said, oh, this this arrangement's quite adequate just to change the oil, a general normal standard oil change. I know he doesn't know yet, but he should have a caveat saying it depends what state there is. So I'll pull one out, have a quick look, and then if it's shitty, I'll go full on. And if it's not, if it's really clean, like someone has replaced it in the last year, then I might not even bother changing it kind of thing. Well, you would because you've gone through the effort and bought the shit and you need a video. Well, another the other thing, you get a little extension, a little fucking four inch extension, then you won't be almost hitting everything. Oh, oh bloody hell. It's, it's, like, it's almost like he didn't expect a spring to fire out at him. Oh, look. Look, oh, PVC. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Look at the size of that fucking spring. Wow. I don't know. Let's check again before we even get anywhere. Right. I don't know if they give you... I wish I had the manual now. I don't know if they give you... Uh, let's go with the SV because it's about it's, it's getting on the same age. Um, I don't know if they give you. Oh, that's not going to help. Is it cancel? Um, I don't know if they give you the free length of the spring. Not for a. I didn't think they would for a front suspension, telescopic, blah 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 blah. Front suspension stroke, rear wheel travel. Your casties. I hate when they call it casty rake. Uh, have we got? Suspension here. Oh no, what's this? This isn't right. This is just a sup oh, it's a supplementary whatever. Just ignore me. Uh do we have pay oh look that's all we have. Period maintenance, engine, cooling system, chassis will be under chassis, won't it? Don't know. Um Oh my god. So I don't know if they give you the three length of the spring. So we can see here, this is not the same bike, of course. Same kind of thing, though, right? Two pinch bolts and then a bolt at the bottom. That's a copper washer. Bobby's your uncle, right? Uh, the spring, number six, yeah, just the main spring. I don't know if they give you the free length of the spring. Just because it's such a knob to measure with such a long spring. Oh, they do give you the free length. Oh, they do. Never, ever have I ever, ever measured the free length of a spring. Just never have. Maybe I should get into it. But no, I've never ever me measured the free length. Valve springs, yeah, but it's not, not uh, suspension springs. But they do give you that. That's incredible. See? Even 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 you learn something every day. that noisy that's the shock what the fuck now automatically you can see black splodges you'd be like oh my god this brings this fucking oil's fucked oh plug in that he already had a penis enlarger from Sealy. why has he got another oh, of course he's got another one I don't even think he's employed by Sealy. I really don't. He should say paid promotion bullshit because that's exactly what this is. Um, but he's probably from Spanner Monkey. He doesn't even have 
this tool. Like, literally, it's not even here. Look, it's just get one of these. You know what I mean? Maybe that's how he's sneaking around the paid promotion thing by not putting a link in. Whatever. Useless to what Dell is, <laughs> but your rod's in the way. Is that going to fit down your rod? Oh my god! It literally is just—it's a penis enlarger. Why? It's so much easier to take the forks off and clean them. Jesus Christ! This is fucking lazy. Yeah, but you see, you haven't finished there, right? Because it's probably just sucking past some of the shit that's still in this very, very long tube. And if you've got loads of shit... <laughs> If you're pulling it out and there's loads of oil and shit on the tube, where do you think that's going? <laughs> then you're like, you haven't, you haven't rubbed that on every single... It's still in there. Fuck me. God's sake. sat there for fucking ages doing that. Literally, the amount of time you've done fucking pumping away. Take your forks off. The other beauty about taking your forks off and doing it properly is the fact you get to inspect everything just in case something's broken or whatever. <laughs> fucking Pyrex measuring jugs. They're great, but it's just funny. Yeah, that's fucked. But sure, you've seen that before. He's separated. Look, you can see bits where it's separated. It's like, holy shit. Well, I think that's answered the question. That is absolutely stinking. It smells of sulfur. It's grey and watery. It's just horrible. Glad to get rid of that. Now, if you're going to use one of these vacuum extractors, a good little trick is to now give it about an hour for whatever's clinging to the side of the tube to pull at the bottom and have another go and get the rest of it out or even leave it overnight if you can. Because the more of that you can get out, the well, better. Is it, then? Why is it better as well? The more you can get out, the better. So don't be so fucking lazy. He's showing us. Look at that. <laughs> it's so pathetic. Did that pump anything out? Did that pump anything out? I see the rest. Oh, there's a bit in there. It's got some dregs. But you see how you're dumping that out, right? And you can't get all this residue out. You see how that's happening, Del? That's what's happening to your forks. See how you can't get it all out? Right, the manual tells me that my fork springs should have a free length of 473 mil. So measuring them. 473 mil? And fucking this massive, aren't they? That one is 472. Don't believe you. And don't the other one. You. If it's that old, I don't believe you. 472. Now that's a millimetre shorter. But it's chilly in here, it's about 14 degrees. I reckon on a hot day they'd be a millimetre longer. I can do it, heat it up. It's never going to be exact unless you knew the temperature that they were measured at. Sure when they will have a standard at 15 degrees, like all most things are unless specified otherwise. It was set in the manual. So those are most definitely well within well, spec. About, sorry, what do you say the service limit is? 472, now that's a millimetre shorter. And the service limit, is that the service limit? 73 mil. So measuring. Sorry, I'm just... 
Right, the manual tells me that my fork springs should have a free length of 473 mil. Yeah, so but measuring... is that the service limit? I've got to go and find the fucking manual. I've got to go and find it. Oh, what's it? Triumph Trophy 900 uh, service manual PDF. I'm not in any way breaking the law. I don't think I am, actually. I think the person who stole it is the person who gets in trouble. We'll find out. Download this manual. Oh. No, I'll just go up here and download this manual. Get the manual. I'm no robot. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's a tracker. That's a tracker. That's a tracker. There's a Harley Davidson in that one. That's a tracker. <laughs> oh, I'm so fucking not funny. Right, get the manual. I want the manual now. Download the pedof... Download the pedophile. Oh, two minutes. Come on now. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll carry on with this nonsense. That one is 472. And the other one... 472. Now, that's a millimetre shorter. But it's chilly in here, it's about 14 degrees. Oh, I reckon on a hot it's day. chilly in here, it's 14 degrees. 14 degrees is not chilly. What are you, a fucking sub... Oh, never mind. They'd be a millimetre longer. It's never going to be exact unless you knew the temperature that they were measured about at. About 15 degrees, so about the same. It was set in the manual. So those are most definitely well within spec. It says well within... What the hell's got... Oh, oh it's... Oh, I was going to say, the, the manual best be here. Jesus. Um, where's download? I'm sure, do we just download it? Trophy 900. Save it, I'm sure it, um. Oh, la, 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 la. oh, let's have a look at our routine maintenance, just for the crack, eh? Um, tyres, chains, front suspension, oil change, 2.37. Two, two point five. Oh, thirty. I'm doing it again. Right. It, actually, we've got the chart here. Look. So, where's zoom? There's zoom. Master zoom. Um, front fork oil change. It doesn't say every two years. Look at that. Ain't that funny? <laughs> Ain't life a bitch, right? Ain't life a bitch. Front fork oil change. No years, but it says there every twelve thousand miles. What did fuckhead say? Where are we? 5.35. I'm going to use a vacuum fluid extractor oh. to take... ...neglected quite often because it's a time service thing. It's every two years you change your fork oil, not on my mileage. Oh! It's a time service thing. It's every two years you change your fork oil, not on mileage. Now no! <laughs> You're doing it again. You're just making stuff up. <laughs> You can't write this stuff. Oh, um. You can't write this stuff. I swear to God, it's just too funny. Any road, so his his uh, suspension, front steering suspension, front forks fork inspection. So we can see. There, look. There's a torque. There's a torque thing for a bolt that goes in the bottom. I don't know why. <laughs> Could be fucking anything, to be quite honest. Oh, look, there's a different one, though. Right, so we have the Trophy, the Trident, and the Spirit. But the Daytona and Daytona Super and a Speed Triple, they have a bolt in the bottom as well. <sighs> what? Or the Tiger, that has a bolt in the middle, bottom? It's like, holy shit. Uh, the Thunderbird, the Thunderbird Sport and Adventure, oh, that has a bolt in the bottom as well. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> He's such a fucking idiot. Oh, Jesus. Oil level, standard and max, right? And if you notice, the standard and the max literally are no different apart from... Oh, there's what there's a few there. So ones with VIN numbers. Let's see if he says that. I, I doubt he'll ever say that. Uh, so he, he has to make it clear that there's different lengths. Have we, have we finished with suspension? Um, how to put it all back together. Number three is a spring. Does it have spring length? Oh, look at that bolt. Look at that. In the bottom. Oh, my God. 
Oh, imagine that. Well, there it is, look, number six. Um, does it say the free length of the spring? Because I haven't seen it yet. Because there's loads of different types here. Look, if you look, there's so many different. They just crammed it into all into one manual. We're on head and brakes now. So I never saw, I never saw a uh, spring length there. Did anyone see a spring length there? So we have. Let's go right back to the beginning there. Suspension. All right. Get rid of that. Is that? How do I get rid of that? I need to, oh, that's it. No, we, we don't get rid of that. Um, so this is just all the the the, the layouts, all models, four coil change. Ah, so what does it say about all of this? Uh, slack and but do not remove the top clamp and release the fork from the yoke. That will it will spring clear due to spring tension to prevent injury where safety glasses are. It did actually scare the shit out of him. Uh, it's got a sucky, sucky $10. But weirdly enough, it's got a valve and a, a cap instead of just being open to the air because then you're just fucking around. Operate the fork several times to expel any trapped air in the valve, then fully compress the forks. You didn't do any of that. Uh, then the fork oil level, which is drive you mad. Uh, front forks, fork installation, I can't see anything that says about the length. It says about talking up the, install the, the installation for all the nuts and stuff. Uh, fasteners, unscrew, slide the what is it's, yeah it's hard to get your bloody slide your what is it's out. Non-adjustable ones, I can't see. Titan, Newton meters, non-adjustable. It's all the different types of forks they have, but they all seem to have these bolts in the bottom. I cannot see anything that says millimeters anywhere. I could be completely wrong. Maybe, like I say, maybe I've got the wrong manual somehow. I don't think so. This covers an awful lot. But I could have the wrong manual. But it's weird that Triumph would all of a sudden stop specifying spring lengths if they do in one manual but not the other 11 millimeters about lock nut for adjust for your basic setting preload free play usually yeah usually when they have for all models built from 90 oh that's headlock stop bearings no no if we go to general information does it have anything here Sometimes they're just that you know you 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 missed. All right, here we go. It might be here actually. Uh, cylinder transmission lubrication ignition system, cooling system brakes front tire. Right, we're getting there. That's all brakes. Oh, brakes suspension. Sorry, there we are. Front fork travel. Rear travel. Doesn't tell you anything. Just what? No, it doesn't tell you anything. Frame. Wheelbase, ground clearance, steering head angle, trail, tyres, pressures, about everything else, suspension, oil level, it says without spring there, fully compressed, hmm. Front fork travel just tells you that, a recommended fork oil, and that's a different bike, I'm just looking at what it says. These are all Daytonas, 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 Daytonas. Trident Spirit. Does this have it? Um, it will be frame. Suspension. Front fork travel. Oil level without spring. So they seem to be saying oil level without spring. But that's what I do want to check before he gets to it. Is that what do they say about adding oil levels? Right, there we are. So it says here, number one, uh, fork oil level setting, fork fully compressed. And then it says, oh, nothing. <laughs> Great. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, fork coil, oil change. All right, compress it. Hold the tool just in the... What is it? Blah, 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 blah. Zero level on the tool is set to the... Yeah, that's just the depth thing, like it says here. All right, number one is number one. I see what you mean. 30. It says do it without the spring, basically. Invert the fork assembly and allow the oil to drain into a suitable container. Why would they say that? Fill the fork with the grade oil specifying the table to a level above and which has finally been required. Set the scale. So basically what this is, is you is it, it's a, a thing that stops at a level. Now if the oil's above that level, like it's showing you the picture, when you suck it out, it gets then stops. You can't suck any more out because the actual tip is not in the oil anymore. That's what this is. So you basically you set this height, right, and then that's how you do it. And what it does is it sucks through the side. Some of them like this but the hole sucks in the side and the reason why they do that is because you can keep on siphoning a bit if it's been pulled up like this and it's oil and it's quite thick you can siphon some of it back out which you don't want to do because that's all about how quick you pull it how quick you draw it out some of them have uh, the end of the tube is actually at an angle so it actually breaches at the side and allows air to go in and stops you sucking blah 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 it's about 14 degrees. I reckon on a hot day they'd be a millimetre longer. It's never going to be exact unless you knew the temperature. So I they... can't, it'd be 15 degrees. I can't find where it says the length. So, unless someone knows different. They would measure that when they were set in the manual. So those are most definitely well within spec. Let's put the oil in. I reckon if they did give you a number, which I can't find, it might be there. Someone says, Matt, if you pause it, and that's great, I've missed it. Um, but usually they'll just give you a service limit. Like the, like the Suzuki, the Booster, uh, the SV, just gives you a service limit. That's it. Anything smaller than that, bin it. If you hit the limit, bin it. Don't see the squeeze it, just leave it in there. It'll just trickle out. Go and have a fire gas on it. What is that there? That's the Triumph. So he's got the other Triumph that he's got look the Honda, the other Triumph, Penny's Triumph. He's got the 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 shit thing, the uh, uh, blah, 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 Harley Davidson, this thing, and he's gonna got that new Triumph, whatever it's called. Wow. It's all the views we're giving him, that's the problem. <laughs> that's why it's in a squeeze now. I'll just fucking leave it and go and, like I said, go and punch a fucking, go and punch the neighbour's cat or something. Right, that's half a litre in both. Now to measure the air gap on top of the oil, if the forks are out of the bike, normally you collapse them all the way down till they bottom out and then you measure the air gap. Well, they're both still in the bike. So the easiest thing is jack the wheel up until it bottoms out and then measure them both. Why is that easy? How is that easy? If you're going to jack the front of the bike up, you might as well take the forks out and do it properly. What the fuck? <laughs> Why would you do this? Right, if you're going to do this, right, so what he's doing is he's trying to do what the manual does where you stick a thing in. You put a peg on it, not tape, get a clothes peg, measure it and put it on it, and then it stops. It stops as long as you don't ram it in. It stops at the top of the fork. So all you do, get a peg. <sighs> Right, the other use of your fluid extractor isn't just to suck the old oil out, it's to set the new oil level as well. So, the oil level on this, with the forks fully collapsed up... But you up, don't is... want a hole that's just on the end of a bit of piping because it'll siphon more than it requires. Unless you want to sit there and go really slow pulling it out, right? 84 millimetres, according to the book. I, so I, put... I can see 84 millimetres, maybe he's got a different book. Piece of tape up the tube to 84 millimetres, put the tube into the tape, Suck out the excess oil, and my oil level is dead correct. Just fuck around with that, just get a peg. And then the, 
you, you know, you got in a, a wooden peg, like a proper wooden peg, not not fucking all this nonsense. I'm gonna show you a wooden peg, so you know what a wooden peg looks like. <laughs> no, what I mean is, right, is if you've got a wooden peg, what you? Oh, why do I have to zoom in? Right, look, there. You put your tube in that one, so then it reaches across your fork. So you just, it just sits there for you, holds it for you. It's great. It's fucking wonderful. That's what we used to do as kids. That's what my, I think my granddad showed me that. Instead of this fucking dicking around. Look at that. Is that even top of the... <laughs> Who knows? Precision! So that tube is also falling down, right? It's just when it says it's exactly right, it's like, yeah, it's, you're within 10 mil, fuck it, 20 mil, 40 mil, who cares? You lay it on the bottom of the fork so the tube runs down the fork, not the top so it falls like this, you fucking dumbass. <sighs> oh no, he's doing a different place now, stupid as a stupid does. I hope that's not the colour of your new oil. What a lazy ass way of doing it. The way he's, this is the thing, right? Look, the other way he's got it jacked up. He's got the front of the bike jacked up. And the back held down with straps. You just take off one fork at a time. You just slip the axle out, slip the wheel out, and then undo your fucking... Slide it out. It's not fucking difficult. Then you can clean it properly. Do it properly. Put your brand new oil in. Set everything vertical. Slam them back in. Jobs are good and But fucking no. God's sake. You don't even have to take the forks apart, right? You just fucking tip it all out. Get all that fucking spring out. All that shite, right? Well, you'd have to fucking compress it and then undo the bottom bolt. Get all that shit out, right? And then you've just basically got your stanchion and your fork body, right, with your bushings in. You don't need to take them out. Collapse it down so it's as small as it goes. Get a rag in there on the end of a fucking stick or something, you know, like a bloody pipe cleaner. Get in there, fucking, uh, get this shit. So if it's pumping, fucking clean it properly. Then you can flush it out with some fucking petrol or something. Some of the seals will be fine with uh, just a normal solvent, right? Flush it out, get it proper cleaned out. Then once you've done all that, spick and span, let it dry out. Put your oil in, laughing. But no. You've literally just put shitty, brand new oil in shitty, fucking shitty oil. Because he's, he's damped the rods in there, and the little spring that goes with it, and the little plastic wash that goes, it's just sh covered in shit. you got to remember, you're trying to make videos. Now if he said... Oh, but this is my only bike. I'd say bollocks. <laughs> it's weird. All right. Click. Aluminium. Click. Just fucking grant it on. It's all right. Also, when you do this, when you've got it on the bench, right, you've got it all cleaned up, you can check your seals, right, you can check your seals, and if you do need to get some new ones, and you don't need the bike there and then, then you rock and roll and you're halfway there, so then you can fucking slide hammer it apart and put some new fucking seals in. Oh, and the bikes, like he just says, it might not be done in fucking 560,000 miles, well, we'll fucking replace them then. Right, now I'm not going to bang on about this because it's a massive subject and everyone's an expert. I just want to mention fork sag. I'm going to check mine to make sure it's within spec. So, cable tie around the fork leg, that gives me an indicator. Push it down on the dust cap. Sit on the bike, allow it to settle to where it's going to settle. 
don't bounce it, you'll get a false reading. Just allow it to settle on its own weight. Then get off it, get it up on the stand and get the front wheel off the ground. Jack up under the engine, get the wheel off the ground and then the forks will extend to their maximum length. Then measure between the cable tie and the top of the dust cap. That's how much sag you've got. And it wants to be between a quarter and a third of the bike's full range of movement. On this bike, it's 150 mil, so mine wants to be between 37 and a half and 50 mil, ideally in the middle. So somewhere like 42 to 45 mil of sag is what I want. I've got my cable tie in place, so let's right, check. So now you're quite a lot of shit. What happens if it's not? Like, these are non-adjustable forks, so what do you do? Alright, 45 mil. Right, here we are, 45 mil of sag on the bike, exactly where I need it to be. Perfect, right in the middle of the range of adjustment. New oil, springs are correct length, sag's absolutely perfect, really happy. Now, join us in the next one, and we'll take the Triumph Scrambler bodywork to the paint shop. No Harley Davidson, no Harley Davidson. Fuck the Harley Davidson. He said to someone, and this is his audience, it's going to be next week, two weeks ago. Which is fine, but I don't know why he said that. Because <laughs> he'd come out with this big diatribe. Fucking what a load of rubbish. But what do we expect? Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a look what the, the geniuses say. Let's see what the cult says. Now, oh, I want to quickly broach this. So there's a few comments, a few people, not many, like four or five maybe, who say, oh, you're just, you're just bloody you down. You're just fucking... Well, he has to watch it. If he watches this, then you could say it's bullying. So you are, a f uh, you are confirming that he watches, but he says he doesn't. So work it out between the two of you. But um, number two, a lot of people say they learn shit from this. Right. You can look in the comments. You'll find a lot of people saying they learn all sorts of stuff because we go on. I go off on some dodgy tangents about all sorts. Um, but the fact of the matter is, is that the guy's lying to you. But they don't care about that. It's all about feelings and emotions because you know men are really known for that. So <laughs> whatever. Uh, as always, very well done, both of you. Well, she, I don't think she did anything. Was she even there? I was unaware that you could change four coil without removing or disassembling the fox. Thanks so much for education. Yeah, that's cool. You've learnt something. Take care. Right safe. Oh, great video. I won't say it's great. A great video. I, I think there's a lot of uh, bits of bullshit in there. Uh, the front triple. Oh, God. And gag, gauge, it's not gauge, gag arrangement reminds me of a lot of BMW, does it? Suspension with its tell, tell a lever, tell a lever. <laughs> oh, I love it. I was going to say, how is it the same? And then, he's, then, he, then he even spells it out, which is even funnier. Uh, tell a lever. Fucking hell. Um... Most of which was Norman Hosack, uh, Norman Hosack's invention that he sold to him. Uh, pretty timely, Dell. I'm going to set up some mittens on my ZX9 after the ST is done. Oh my God, do not follow what he fucking does. Good luck with it. Brilliant video again, Del Boy. Defo sucking the old oil out is the way to go. Well, it's not yet. Clean the forks. Not sure if Triumph forks had drain screws. What's not sure if those Triumph forks have drain screws, but most forks on larger bikes don't. Is that true? Is that true? It says most. So much less hassle doing it your way. Cracking video. Brilliant weekend. Always scares me to do this job. Why? What's more difficult? What should scare you? Is changing teeth on gear on gears while the engine's running. That's fucking bonkers. That was really technical. Oh, it was really technical. Uh, and I'd have to take the forks off. What's the Dell knobs there? 
Glad it helped you, mate. It's just an oil change. There's a link to the vacuum pump. Of course there is. And is there? Can he even get this right? Where is there a link to the vacuum pump? It's there. Sorry. I've totally got that wrong. I'll, 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 I'll stop the video. <laughs> um, I didn't see that, so there you go. How much is it, actually? I just saw Spanner Monkey. I saw the link, but no. Um, yeah, I don't think he's employed by Tri uh, Sealy at all. I don't think he's on their payroll. I think it's just Spanner Monkey. But he needs to say that these, these are paid adverts. Um... Despicable new paint on the scrambler will be fun. Wonderful about the redo. Did I miss something? Supply chain issues. Blah blah blah. Sports to back shortly. Saving up for parts. Got some big and very expensive parts to pay for now. And almost after. Uh, and also after almost a year on the Harley project, we want to bring a little variety. Great video. Can I ask, does the amount of fork oil change when you swap fork, fork springs to progressive? This whole progressive thing, right? I wish people... Yeah, yeah, let's just not. It... Yeah, let's just not. Uh, nifty fork oil bottle that comes with the pointy spout built in. No mess, no funnel. Same as the gear oil bottle, I guess. Same as the gear oil bottle. It's not just Castro either. I don't think they made it up. As Batman's cousin, fat bastard, I actually rely on organic sag to hold them. Uh, wish the oil was packaged in a bottle with handy pop-up spouts here in the US. Well, that just serves you right for being a colony, doesn't it? Maybe the Castro is. Well, <laughs> Paul for a bit of a dummy. <laughs> uh, Fook, that never... That's never been changed, I reckon. At least now I can substitute Bisto instead of Silicoline. Oh, God, Silicoline. My gamma. I was like that Hasley wise anyway. Wonder. Um, wonder. Well, would this method work on inverted forks? Um, yes. Well, it's not a very good job, but yes. You think about it, right? You've got a cap on the top. You unscrew it. Access. This vacuum extractor works in... Oh, my God. Are these people... Look, he literally just said what I said. Are these people... These are the people who are watching. They literally don't... These people shouldn't be fucking around with stuff. This is why these videos are even more important. If I can convert some of these retards. Because they really don't know what they're doing. They can't even work basic stuff out. Not a suggestion. Oh, my God. But would putting a load of new oil and draining it again be helpful or a waste of good oil? I'd like your opinion because I'm about to do this on my bike and I know it hasn't been done in 20 years. Oh my god. Uh, good question. That's what I do, but I take my forks out of the clamps and do the pump and dump a few times with some new oil before I real fill them. My god. Cha-ching. Good question as well. Using the new oil as a flushing agent is damn good practice, mate. So why don't you do it? It doesn't leave behind... It does. You'll never get it out, so clean it. Try it. Behind the contamination that flushes, uh, that flushing solvents can. And I've done this many times myself. Oh, here it goes. Just not in front of the camera. Not for my motorbike-related... I do servicing motorbike videos, but I'm not going to show you how to do that. Especially with gear... What? Especially with gearboxes on cars. Don't talk rubbish. But don't put it in and drain it straight out again. Put it in, ride it for 50, 100 miles. Let it properly rinse round all the internals. Then suck it out again and refill with fresh. Four coils, not expensive. And most bikes don't take much more than a litre. Thank you. I'm not a fan of using solvents to flush out my forks either. I've seen people use kerosene and what not to do it. Having residue solvent mix... Well, no, you dry it. <laughs> Having residual solvent mixed with new oil doesn't sound good to me. Look what you... <laughs> solvent. You've just said kerosene with an oil, right? 
kerosene. It 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 evap. It's almost like petrol. It evaporates. It's weird. Just my opinion. But if you ha if opinions again. But if you have an operational, if you have operational forks, solvents are probably unnecessary. What? Neglected forks might be a different story. Like these ones in this video. Nice Dell. Uh, fucking nonsense. Nasty. Love the extractor though. Very interesting that you know what you know. What? Bollocks. Um, remember, remember, the fork intervals in Triumph are not based on miles. They're based on years. If my fork coil was crap as if my fork coil was as crap as your bike, I would have stripped them down. Oh my god! Yes, and there's eight. Well, seven thumbs up. It was borderline. You've literally just said it's the worst forks you've seen. Can people see the bullshit? I don't have the time right now. There's the real reason. But I'll probably do it in the spring. Fuck off. Can we can we get that screenshot forever? Let's just I'll screenshot that shit. I'll probably do it in the spring. Don't believe you lying, fuck. Could you flush any dregs out with say WD forty? No, not really. No mate, you're better off putting new fork oil in, run it a few miles. I don't know you got this running it a few clean it then change it again. Any solvent left in the forks could contaminate the new oil and thin it out. <laughs> If in doubt, mate, strip them apart and wash everything. Well, he knows, so he knows. And I'll probably do that with a bike in the spring. You see, you, can you tell that that's come after that? that? That was three hours ago. This was 41 minutes ago. Dell is literally learning how to do these things from other people. It's just, yeah. Oh, man, that fluid is horrid. The old That old oil stink. Um, it's really funny that the the guy who's talking sense has got the most thumbs up. It's almost like the viewers know better than Dell. But you can't tell him that. He'll delete your comments. I hope that makes sense. And I'll see you in a bit.